I still keep checking my mailbox from FCC. I ain't got nothing yet. I wonder I wonder where that is. You keep running wide, you will. I'm, I mean Oh, oh, well let me tell you, I, I encourage them to send me something to run a wide. I tell you what, they show up on my front porch to rescue you. Better have a warrant. They don't want to do that, Bruce. They don't want to send him nothing because he's running wide, because they know he's wide. Well, he's talking about his ass is wide or what, Morgan? Well, everything about him. I don't know why they do that anyhow. I mean, they don't sound no better. Well, actually, they do, but... It depends on what you call better. They don't sound natural. Well, Bruce, uh, when I'm sitting here listening on a 2.7 filter, what damn difference does it make how loud he's running? He ain't going to sound no better on my radio. I would like to explain that to you if you'll let me. The bottom of what they're transmitting is moved up the scale. That 2.7 you're listening, bottom is spread out, covering a larger area of that 2.7. He sounds the same on me if he's a transmitting 2.7 or 4.0. Okay. I, I just explained it to you. Well, what's my what's my bandwidth right now, Marty? I don't know what it is, Tom. I've not got no scope up. All right. So if you don't know what my bandwidth is, it shouldn't be an issue. Uh, 3.4. Uh, 3.3. Three, three. You were close. I've not got my... Uh, I've not got not my radio on that's got that on it, so I don't uh, I don't care, particularly care what you're running. Then if all you're hearing me is at 2.7, then the uh, problem solved. Well, problem solved. I mean, but, you know, the gentleman agreement's uh, 3.0. No, no, it's not. Well, no, well, no, it's not. Can we okay. just leave the gentleman's agreement out of it and use FCC rules? Yeah. <laughs> FCC rules says 3.0, Oh, it doesn't. It says 2.8. Well, I mean, it actually does, but supposed to be 2.8 max. 3.0. That's not too. <laughs> Whoever said 2.8 max, that's wrong. No, it's not. No, yeah, I guess it is. I think he's right, Tom. It says 2.8. Okay, the ma. <laughs> The, the malarkey rule or monarchy, whatever is Michael, Michael, Ma, La Monica, whatever his name is. I, and I sent you that thing, Bruce. Okay, we're not talking about that, Tom. Come well, I am. The well, FCC, they wanted it 2.8 as a rule, and it's not a rule. 2.8 is not a rule. Okay, we're not talking about that, Tom. You're talking about something that happened once upon a time. And they said, no, we're not going to do that. We're talking about FCC rules that are active and in enforcement now. No, they're not. You mean they're not active and not in enforcement? No, what I'm saying is uh, Riley is sending out stuff with the ARRL on bandwidth, but the FCC is not doing that. See, Riley's got a personal thing about bandwidth. Uh, All right. I don't know anything about what Riley's preferences are. Well, I don't Charlie care. got that notice We're from Riley, about FCC and it was from the rule. ARRL, um, uh, what do you call it, Volunteer Monitor Coordinator, but it's not the FCC. Oh, no. Um, I got uh, uh, some rules from Bruce here. It's been a pretty good while back, but yeah, the rules that he found is in, particularly in the FCC rules that you're not supposed to uh, go over three wide. That's not true. Well, it's true. It's very true, and it says all. It's, it's, all I'm sorry, it's not. It, it is not a rule on bandwidth. It is. No, but, no, it's not. Uh, yeah, but yes, it is. It's very difficult to explain in, in detail and accuracy. Marty says three. If your bottom is starting at one hundred. And your top's at three. You're only 29 wide. You're not three wide. Correct. He's just talking about the top. Correct. Okay. To avoid running into that problem, because I could move my bottom up to 500, and I could move my top to 3,500, and I would only be 3K wide. It would sound funny as hell to everybody. Because I wouldn't have any bottom end. But 
and I would still be 3K wide, but I moved it up the scale, if you see what I'm saying. Now, the FCC doesn't, doesn't even address that. They Correct. talk about how many dBs below your, the center of your threshold frequency. If, if you go out from the center and you get to where you're 30 dBs down, that's what they're calling the edge of the bandwidth. Now, okay. Try to figure that out using a radio. Okay. You can't. Um, well, I would encourage anybody to send me anybody that has gotten an FCC warning for bandwidth, and I'll shut my mouth. Well, well. Richard they can, but it was a long time ago. Richard, Richard did not get an FCC ago. warning for bandwidth. Richard got one not too long ago. No, he did not. He got something from the ARRL, Riley Hollingsworth, the volunteer monitor coordinator. But still got something. You said somebody send him something. Hey, no, still no, got something. No, That's not what I said, Marty. Marty, I noticed as you get older, your hearing has problems. I said FCC. I said FCC, Marty. Yeah. You got to listen. It's pretty much You got to listen. I said anything, an FCC warning, if anybody can show me that somebody got a, a warning letter from the Federal Communications Commission for bandwidth, I'll shut my mouth. Well, they're, they're, their FCC is is not really what you per se monitor in this anymore. Well, if they're not monitoring it, what's the problem? Well, they, they allow the ARRL to do that for them. Well, no, Yeah, but it's no, no, not no. official. The ARRL volunteered to do that. Right. Uh, but here's the problem. Amateur radio, since the beginning of amateur radio, or even before it was called amateur radio, was self-regulated. Yeah. It is still considered to be self-regulated. Right. And the problem is, is when people start talking and they don't check in, people don't ID it 10 minutes after they've checked in, People use profanity and all the other things that are different from what has always been standard practice. Well, um, I'm trying to think of the last ham that actually got an FCC warning or, or fine notice for profanity. Oh, okay. Let me ask you something, Tom. Yeah. It doesn't have anything to do with profanity or wit or anything else. Well, you mentioned profanity. That's why I said that. Well, I know. It's it's a, it's like people want to pick apart everything I say and see if they can find one word that was said so they can make a big story about that. So let me ask you this. What's wrong with it being self-policed, and what's wrong with following standard amateur radio practice even if the FCC doesn't enforce it. Well, okay, I, I, I'm not against you. Well, but uh, when you say uh, self-police or self-enforced, who's doing it? Everybody that's in that ham operator that knows. Well, the problem you run into that with Bruce is that what happens is it becomes subjective to where people inter have their own interpretation of the rules. Well, you're going to have that. You're going to have interpretations like the guy that said, I, I know I was born a man, but I defy anybody to keep prevent me from going into a woman's restroom. I hate it for him. Right, right. Because he's going to run into somebody with a different opinion if their daughter's in the girl's restroom and he goes in there. See, I know not to do that. When I was in the third grade, I went into the girl's restroom one time accidentally. I got a bad one for that. Yeah, well, um, and you should, and you should, know, and you should know not to run over three wide, but you do. Well, what do you mean? What? Why, why can't I run over three wide if you're only listening at two point seven? He not, just does not get it, does he? I, I get it, but you're trying to control my transmitter, Marty, and and if you're only receiving at two point seven, then it's all the same. We're on the same frequency. Why? Tom, I know you're you not that done now. Come on, be real, man. Marty, you know when you two get done, I was trying to say something. I guess you was talking to Marty and didn't want to hear what I had to say. Which is well, Marty, keep up on top of you, and I can't hear you, Bruce. Turn your amp on. Why don't you all quit killing each other? Yeah, that's like you got some damn sense. Now you hold on, old man. Well, maybe you can explain to me how I can keep somebody from keying after I've already started talking. 
But I agree with you on that, Bruce. They don't need to key up. Well, 